future of uh, content marketing would be largely driven by AI in a big way. In 2022, you already saw a lot of use cases out there, predominantly on synthetic AI, and everyone keeps talking about the Shah Rukh Khan, not just Cadbury ad campaign, which we did. It was about creating a synthetic AI edition of Shah Rukh Khan and then giving power to retailers to create their own Shah Rukh Khan ad and disseminate it. But there's a lot of R&D which has gone on to building this tech stack, right? So I personally believe that anything that's new, you've got to get into the game and create your own experiment with yourself, right? So I created my own synthetic AI avatar good two years back when the lead time to create a clone of you took us about 10 hours of content which you have to read and then you create your clone. Once I did that, I started sending it to a lot of my clients and a lot of my leadership and then I told them, okay, the guy who I, you were talking to is my clone and is not me, right? So that excited a lot of these guys, whether it's clients or our leadership. And that got a lot of these people driven. Then we cleared the legal hurdle and then we got put into implementation and as we speak, we have got so many clones of uh, celebrities which have gotten created, which are driving hyper-personalized conversation. So I personally believe that um, this entire space of AI and generative AI now, which is going to be big in times to come in terms of how content is going to get rendered, and not just on text, but all three formats of uh, content marketing. This entire space of emerging tech and creative tech, as we keep calling, it has got immense power. All it needs is the right approach, the right thinking, and there we go. We can we can actually create magical stuff. It's very powerful. All it needs, all we need to do is just channelize our energies to you know craft a problem solver, which is what this uh, use case which I just gave you. you know? So I'm working towards that right now. You would see a lot of uh, similar use cases in times to come. We are working towards core utility and use cases which are going to be a problem solver for marketers, also for consumers. What I'm really excited about is MetaHuman and the use cases. Imagine mm -hmm. now I have my own MetaHuman. He runs all the workshops. So I get all the mundane, boring stuff. He can do it for me, right? It's my MetaHuman. It has a content. It, it has uh, the mundane stuff which I need to keep repeating it to 500 clients, right? He can do the job for me. Wow, or if that's it's so like, cool. Uh, See, I'm creating one for our leadership wherein there's a newsletter. So mm -hmm. D4M must be releasing newsletter and all the top work which you've done in that month. How about creating a meta human of Naval? And whoever comes on to E4M, Naval's meta human is talking about all what E4M has done this month. Or all what's coming up next month, right? Yeah, that's So all those kind of use cases would evolve in times to come. And more people adopt to this, more you would see the change. So there are meta humans and there are digital humans. Mm -hmm. Content would play a role in either case. Digital humans actually do not exist. Mm -hmm. Meta-humans are created from our own scans. Mm -hmm. So that, that's a differentiator. So more and more brands, as we were talking in our talks as well today, will create their own AI mascots who would move into these virtual worlds and drive conversations and will advocate for the brands. Now look at the, the, there are these millions and tens and millions of people who are going to platforms like Roblox. Mm -hmm. Right, our kids go there, they play, they spend a lot of time. They are not on television by any means. So if you were to reach out to them, you cannot be stickering the Roblox environment. You cannot be running like banner ads out there. They're they going to hate it. So you've got to create brand mascots like what we did with Wendy's. It's a character, an avatar which we created. She moved into various virtual worlds and she was engaging with audiences out there. Right. So the future of advertising is going to be more storytelling, more immersive and not very pushy and stickered kind of an environment, right? Mm -hmm. Where you're trying to push our messaging out. It's going to be a blend of both in some form. But yeah, it will be like a paradise for creative folks to come create a lot of renditions out there.